Alright then guys, what is going on? Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're inside of Diablo 4 where we're going to be looking at the XP farming. There is an XP farm right here that we're going to show you today that is absolutely tremendous and extremely easy to do. And me myself, I'm on a shadow build necromancer and I'm having an absolute shed ton of fun with it. So we've been leveling him up as it goes. We are currently level 34 and I think in this video we get to level 35. But I've been doing this now for maybe a few levels levels and it runs really really quickly make sure that you guys have got a sustained build though because you will need to take out a hell of a lot of ads in such a short period of time so with that being said if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated now with that being said let's dive on into the video so we are going to want to start off in this location right here, which is going to be just northwest of Kyovershad. This is a stronghold, a very, very cool stronghold, and has a lot of ads inside of it that we are essentially going to sort of zombie crawl all into one location. The way that this one actually works is actually really, really simple. You are essentially going to start off just here, right at the bottom of the stronghold castle. Once you actually do get there though, you are going to want to run up the stairs and make your way over to this location here. We're going to pick up a load of ads on the first run through and pick up the second wave just here in the middle. We're going to make our way straight up the top where we're going to find another horde of ads and on the left hand side there is going to be yet another one. Running through the middle, we're going to proc an elite and then get the last wave on the right hand side. From this point, do your thing, make sure you take it out in the necromancer. I am running a shadow build and it is extremely fun to utilize. I've had a lot of fun with this build. If you guys want to know what my early build is for a shadow build necromancer, then let me know in the comment sections and I will do a video on that one covering it as well. But essentially what you want to do is take out as many of these as possible. Do not waste your time trying to take out the few individual elites, although it is extra XP, it will be time wasted. You only want to make sure that you're taking a couple of minutes on each run of this to get the most amount of XP as you can. But we then go down here and take our way down the cliff edge where we're going to find yet another group of ads. Now I take out the first load of them just right at the beginning. There is no real reason as to why, although you don't actually have to. Once you've actually taken those out or collected them, you want to make your way around the central posting that is just there in the middle. You're essentially going to want to run around and hoard together all of these ads here at the bottom and then run towards the stairs where you're going to find yet some more. And we are going to rinse those out as well like i said i'm just watching this video now while i'm actually voiceovering over it the shadow build is so much fun i absolutely love it but once you have eventually done that and taken out as many of them as you can and or want to do without finicky messing around with the last couple that i just kind of stood there it's time wasted in my personal opinion you then want to kind of run away take a dash and leave your game from that point, you're going to click straight back in and it's going to put you right back at the location at the bottom of the ladder just outside the stronghold where you are then going to be able to rinse and repeat. This is a very, very lucrative way of doing it, although farming inside of Diablo can be quite tedious as an overall if you have this one on a high enough level for the video's sake i've only showed you this on world level to or world tier one i think just because it's just a lot easier for me to just get this done and get it put up but as an overall even for solo players this is absolutely amazing to do and it's just so simple when you actually run through it so just for one more time's sake we run through we collect the first set of ads run through to the middle collect the second set run up the stairs through the center of the area and get the third set fourth is on the left hand side and then the fifth will be on the right hand side collect them all up together and then do your thing this is just absolutely tremendous and the xp that can come out of it is absolutely crazy i have maybe about two bars per run working at about two bars of xp every couple of minutes that it will take you to run this means that you guys will be at level 50 ready for paragon leveling and stuff like that at a very very short period of time this will take maybe a matter of an hour to an hour and a half it's so easy to do and yet actually quite enjoyable i'm not really too sure as to why maybe it's just my weird ass quite likes farming and it's just something that i like doing but this was just a quick one that i wanted to show you guys to make you know that you can just level up your characters i would recommend playing through the first frame through the game on your first character though maybe not speed farming through on the first character 
enjoy what you've got and take the game for what it is and then maybe on your alt characters this is one way of being able to do it although i do know there are quite a few other ways of alt character farming and leveling and stuff like that which we're going to look into later on but this is a really really simple one and one that for me seems to be working quite well with catching up to my friends if you haven't already make sure you smash in the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on but just so you don't actually miss how this one works you want to run to the side take a dash and then leave the game and this will rinse and repeat not only that though but this will give you guys a load of loot we're going to stick around for two more seconds and just come out of this so we can actually see exactly how it works as far as loot leveling as well as you kind of go up so does the loot with it so when you actually re-log back in you want to take a look at your inventory and see what it is that you've actually got because you might actually be surprised as to the level creep or gain sorry that you can actually progress through using this method when we go in i'm pretty sure this was the run where i check my inventory it might have been on the next one in which case i will slot that clip in right here but we essentially check the inventory and find that there is some nice pieces of gear that we can input in here that have given me a nice level boosting as far as builds go you only have it at a base level anyway with these lower level characters you don't really want to look too much into the gems and skulls and stuff like that because you'll just be switching out armor quicker than you can blink but up until you get to about 50, then you want to start making those differences. But for now, that's all we've got time for today. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate all your faces. If you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe, post notifications turned on. Appreciate you all. And as always, until the next time, happy farming. And I'll see you in the clouds.